Hi guys, this is Heike and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. Welcome back to our channel. Little Miss Lola is absolutely ready to do this today. She's been on the table before the ring light was on the table. <laughs> so she knew something was up. So today I have a final review for you for my um, little cat banner here, which is supposed to turn into a coat rack. And I will show you the final result of that once I'm done in a future video, so stay tuned. I'm not going to do a separate video, I'm just going to show you the finished um, thing as a picture or maybe a little clip. Cat is trying to kill the computer again, that's her new biggest hobby of them all. Um, in another video, but I will I will mention it in the video description, so if you're interested have a look at the future video descriptions, I guess. Um, I'm also going to show it on Instagram, so a little plug Instagram down below in the description box. You will always find anything I do on there at some point. No cat. <laughs> All right, so this was a painting from Evermoment. I unboxed it not too long ago. I will link the unboxing in the eye up there and you can have a look at it. Um, it was a 30 by 84 centimeter and it had 23 colors. As you can see, it's it's a very um, earth tony picture because it's supposed to look like uh, wooden planks and then the script and the cats on it. And it is so long, I think I can't actually show you the whole thing, but it starts over here with the first kitty, which is full of cat hair now. And then you have the a house is not a home without a cat saying and the second little kitty. Can't remember if I measured this kit when I unboxed this. Probably not because I tend to forget. But let's do it now. It's 30 on the spot. Bye kitty. And it is 58 spot on. Uh, 85. Oh god, numbers. Um, if you wonder why I always switch them around in German, they are the other way around. <laughs> so an 85 is, um, is yeah, forget it. Um, just forget it. So this kit um, had 23 colors and like I always say when I talk about Ever Moment, the drill quality is exceptionally good. And they give you so, so, so many drills. So, first up, we have all the leftover drills of the bags I actually opened. So, these are all 23 colors. For all 23 colors, there are leftover drills in the bags. Um, the smallest amount in the bags is for 2023, uh, 3023 and 3858. But I have a whole other bag of that one left, and I think for that color, I actually have a big bag left, and I might have a small one as well in here. Not sure. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. No, in that case, it's only the big bag. As you can see for everything else, I have quite a bit of, of leftover still in the bags and I have big bags left, I have small bags left, I have a lot of small bags left for one color. Um, so it, it's, it's so much, it's so much more than you actually need. <clears throat> they say that there are about 800 to 1000 drills in these big bags. I've counted one and it had something like 850, I think, if I remember correctly, 850, 840, something like that. And then I have, for example, for black, I have a big and two small bags, and the small bags are supposed to be 160 to 200. Um, the one I counted had 215. So I have over 1,200 drills left <clears throat> for black alone, and I was supposed to have... 4,989 in this picture, so they basically gave me over 6,000 drills. That's more than enough. Um, 
There were no issues whatsoever with the drills. They were perfect. They fit perfectly. And um, the painting is very, very, very sparkly. Let's remove the backs here. It's very sparkly. I'm not sure if I can show it in this light. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. I have no idea why it keeps doing that. Um, no, it doesn't want to cooperate. Of course it doesn't. Well, you have to believe me that it's super sparkly. Yesterday the sun hit it and it nearly blinded me. <laughs> so <laughs> that was not nice. Um, yeah, it's a cat. <laughs> so as far as trash goes, um, this is all the trash I picked out. Um, as as always, it's actually not 100% trash. There are concave drills. Let me see if, if you can. I think you can see there is a concave one, the white one. Um, there are drills with holes in it. Um, there are a lot of these um, twin pairs here that are, oh, this is actually a triplet, that are stuck together. I could pick them apart and could use them, but quite honestly, I don't bother because I know I have so much left over. I don't need to do that. There are um, a few drills that I found after I stored a color away and I wasn't so sure if it was the color I actually worked with because a lot of these look very similar. So I just threw them away for the same reason. And then there's a bit of real um, plasticky bit trash. And I actually also had a couple of round beads. This blue one here was a round bead. And there was also a gray round bead in there. I think that was the first one I had round beads in my Evermore beads. <laughs> so not a lot of trash in my opinion for this painting. Um, especially because I'm very picky whenever I work with a painting with a very... <laughs> With very good drills, um, I pick out stuff I wouldn't pick out if I had a, a painting with worse quality because I would be afraid to run out. Um, what else can I say? This painting was, truly was, confetti hell. <laughs> um, I usually work on... Well, it depends on the painting. For the pencil heart, I think I worked on 11 by 10 centimeter sections. Um, for this one, it was 15 by 10 centimeter sections, and I think sometimes I needed up to three and a half hours for one section, with it, which is a lot of time for me for for um, a section this this size because of all the confetti. So it was basically a nice change once I reached the final cap because half of the section was just black. Um, that went much faster. <laughs> But even with all the confetti, it was actually a joy to work on. I enjoyed it very much. And I have mentioned it before, Evermoon basically managed to re make me fall in love with, with square paintings again. Um, I'm still more an advocate for round, um, but I don't mind doing square paintings as much as I did after all the test paintings of really really crappy paintings <laughs> I did last year. So um, I'm kind of glad I rediscovered um, the square paintings for me and you will see that I really rediscovered them <laughs> in the next few weeks. Um, I uh, put myself on a buying ban during the sale um, if it's not ever a moment. So I basically only bought from the Ever Moment stores, and once again I bought from all three of them, I believe. Did I? Yeah, I did. <laughs> if you can't remember a couple of days after you did it, what you did. Um, yeah, that's diamond painting. But anyway, guys, that is basically it for this painting. I would absolutely recommend, if you like it, that you do it. Um, maybe if you want to, there are bigger sizes for that. I just had to stay with this size because I couldn't use anything longer than... I think it was 
100 centimeter and the next size would have been longer and I have to calculate a frame in and yada yada yada. I told you my plans in the unboxing so you know anyway. Um, I would absolutely recommend that. I'm going to um, link this painting down below once again and I'm also going to link the dog version of this painting because there is of course also a version for dog lovers. Um, so if you don't have any cats but you like the painting and you are a dog person go ahead and purchase that one. Um, it is just as pretty. <laughs> it's just not for this household is it? <laughs> All right, guys, if you like this little final review, please give us a thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment down below. We would absolutely enjoy reading that. Um, if you haven't yet um, subscribed, maybe hit the bell to be notified when I upload my next video. There are a lot of unboxings coming your way. I hope I will be able to squeeze in a final review very soon. I have no idea about Whippet Chats. I learned I'm very bad about just talking about stuff. Uh, my life is super, super boring. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I'm letting you go now. I'm starting to rumble again. I hope you have a fabulous day, a fabulous week, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.